I take my sketch to the dress form. I lay some muslin fabric on the torso of my mannequin and center it. Using my hands, I smooth it over from one side to the next and pin as I go. Any parts that create tension are clipped to keep the fabric as smooth as possible. Next, it's time to transfer my drape to paper to create the pattern. I lay the fabric on the pattern paper and start tracing lines to transfer them. Never forget to add your seam allowance to ensure a perfect fit. I cut out the pattern pieces, then lay them on my fabric. I selected a mid-weight denim with a gradient reminiscent of the sunset. I cut each piece out carefully, making sure it's all accurate. One mistake can throw off the whole garment. Introducing Ruby Ray Clothing. If you can imagine it, she can make it. Once you place your order, you will hear from Ruby herself, who will then gather your measurements, preferred colorways, and analyze fabrics. Why buy fast fashion when you can support small and create a one-of-a-kind garment fit just for you? Head to Ruby Ray Clothing on Instagram to book a consultation today. Moving to my machine next, I carefully place the pieces right sides together and stitch at half an inch seam allowance. I stitch and stitch and stitch until I get to the bottom, then rinse and repeat onto the other side. I take my time so that I don't have to do this twice. The moment of truth, the climax, is always trying it on my dress form. This tells me where I need to adjust. What many people don't know is that 50% of sewing is simply staring at your garment and imagining the possibilities on how to get the fit perfected. Especially if you make a mistake, you just have to sit and stare until the answer comes to you. As I sew, I am reminded of my mother, the particular way she'd hold the pins in her mouth as she would alter my Halloween costumes growing up, the gentle touch she'd use to maneuver the fabric against the madness of the machine. I wonder if she has similar thoughts of her own mother as she sews. Although my grandmother passed away before I was born, I like to think this is my way of keeping her memory alive through my own hands. <laughs> 